Hi guys, I just wanted to document my journey as a potential kidney donor for my brother. Um, today, I, after finishing um, a, a very lengthy, actually a questionnaire, I got a call from the hospital in Texas saying I passed the first uh, round of questions um, and I would be um, sent this package, uh, which I believe is vials to go in and get blood work and tissue testing to see if um, I pass and I'm a match to my brother. Um, from what I know, we are both A plus blood type, uh, the same as our father. And um, I know that that will help the process of kidney donation. And so um, I am just feeling so much peace. And the thing that I felt when I got this package today in the mail was I felt this strange um, anticipation, this really a longing to be able to go through this journey that I hear is as beneficial for the donor as it is for the recipient. And so I got kind of this excitement and this nerves um, as I get ready to go in and do this test in the next day or two. I'm really just praying that if it's if it's his will that I will be able to be a match and donate my kidney to my brother. So we will keep you posted on this journey um, and looking forward to you guys joining us. Thanks. Okay, I opened up the package here um, from Federal Express um, from San Antonio, Texas where the kidney donation is going to take place. And this is what was inside. Um, a huge, thick package of paperwork uh, for lab tech, which is where all of the blood work and um, the tissue samples and everything will be done. And then we also got a big box of like tubes. And so uh, everything will be put in here, sent same day back to San Antonio. And we should have results within about 14, 15 working days after that to see if we qualify for being a kidney donor. Okay, here we go. We're at the hospital and uh, we are taking our blood going round one. Here we go. Hopefully we pass. Okay, the blood work is done. Um, there were five vials that we took um, to test, again, blood type and antibio antibodies and that kind of thing. So um, we are done with phase one. Let's hope we pass. All right. Okay, so today is June 8th. It has been exactly a week uh, since I went and gave all my blood um, to see if I would be a match for my brother for a kidney donation. And today uh, I ended up getting a call from San Antonio, uh, the place where the kidney transplant will be done. And good news is they said that we are both type A, which we kind of assumed. Um, so we have the same uh, blood type and they also tested the antibodies. So uh, with me and my brother and I started crying because I found out that we are a perfect match. And so they hadn't told my brother. So that was super cool because I got to pick up the phone and FaceTime him and let him know that he we're matched. And so there's more testing to do. It's not completely official yet. Um, but we're going to call the hospital um, or the, the uh, transplant center again tomorrow um, and see what the next steps are. And he said yes. Um, he will take my kidney and I said, yes, I'm going to give it. And so we are going to move forwards. This is going so fast. I really expected it to be months. As someone had told me it could take up to a year um, just for all of my testing, but it's going super fast. And so um, I honestly just cried when I found out. Um, I was overwhelmed with joy because one, that means less suffering for my brother who has been doing dialysis at home um, and ended up in the hospital numerous times and he did it um, at the center and has just had a really hard time. And so I feel great joy knowing that if there is even a portion of me that could help to relieve um, some of his suffering. I called my brother and um, he was really emotional too, to know that there's hope kind of at the end of this, right? And so um, we will um, keep updates as we move forward and see what the next steps are. And hopefully we can get this transplant done soon. So.
Okay, so I'm kind of tracking this story about kidney donation, and I just wanted to add in this story that it is, um, uh, let's see, I think June 12th, 12th, yeah, uh, it is a Sunday, and um, as we have gotten closer um, to um, round two, if you will, of testing for donation, um, I went up to the front at church. I felt really prompted to go and have them pray for me. Um, as I did, the lady said that she happened. Um, we have five services at our church um, and tons of prayer people. And the one that I happened to walk up to, um, it was a lady who had gone through all the steps for kidney donation. And then at the last minute, they went a different route and she ended up not donating. Um, but she understood kind of this process of what we're going through as far as kidney donation goes. And... <clears throat> I just wanted to share what she said as she prayed. Um, she prayed for peace. Um, she uh, prayed for my brother. His name is Greg. And um, she really felt like um, it was kind of like the blind man that people were asking, who sinned? Was it this person? Was it his father? Like who sinned? Someone in their generation. But that uh, nobody had sinned that God allowed this to happen so that he would get glory. And she really just felt like there was someone who needed this story. They needed to hear about this, um, you know, this story of a transplant. And it wasn't even about Greg. It wasn't about the kidney. But it was the route that God wanted to use to bring himself glory. And that was such an encouragement to me because I realized it's not about us. It's not about me or Greg or anyone else. It is so that the Father might be glorified in this. And he had already kind of been imprinting on my heart that even if one life is changed as a result of this kidney donation, it will be a thousand percent worth it. And so I just wanted to share you with you that encouragement um, that was given to me today at church uh, as the lady in front of um, our congregation congregation uh, prayed for me. And so what a blessing. Uh, we will keep you posted as we keep moving forward. Thanks. Woohoo! We finally got uh, the box that we were waiting for. This is for round two. Um, I need to do 24 hour urine uh, samples and then uh, the next morning go in on a full fast and uh, do blood work. And um, this is kind of the second round. We were a little worried because the last time um, the clinic uh, the, for the kidney transplant sent me something that was here in two days. And so I just talked to the hospital this morning and um, we were kind of wondering where this box was because it's been about a week. And so we finally got it and we get to move forward into round two. So here we go. Okay, it is Saturday, um, the 25th. Uh, it is actually my mom's birthday and we're getting ready to have a party for her. Um, uh, I just got approval to be able to fly down and get my funds reimbursed to be able to give a kidney and do a kidney donation in Texas. Again, we are in Washington. And um, it's just been a long process. I'm waiting for more of my blood work results and um, I know we're kind of getting closer and that's great news. Um, and it's been just a really busy last couple of weeks. And so I was feeling kind of discouraged and I don't even know, just kind of not myself. And I just went into the dollar store and there was a lady that was helping me and she was really sad. I said, how are you doing? Um, she said, I'm not good. And I, I said, oh, we started talking and she goes on that her father-in-law, who was like her dad, had just passed away and... Um, as we started talking more, I asked, you know, was it sudden? Did you guys know he was going to pass? Do you mind me asking that? And she said that her father had had kidney failure and he had been on dialysis and it had been so hard on his body and um, that his body couldn't take it anymore and it shut down and he passed away. And so, of course, I started crying and I explained to her, I said, uh, my brother is on dialysis and he is... Um, getting ready to have a transplant and um i'm approved donor for him and so i said thank you for sharing my your story with me and as i left i realized like this donation thing it is not about me i'm just kind of a new level of understanding of 
of really um, the importance of kidney donation. And so I feel so honored. I just want to get to the point where I know that my brother is safe and he's healthy. And it just reminded me, it kind of shocked me back into reality that this is about saving and helping lives um, and that it is a good and beautiful thing. And it really helped to take the focus off of me. And so I'm so grateful for this encounter. I mean, what are the chances? Um, it is a beautiful thing. And as I leave, I pray for this beautiful soul um, who is willing to share her story with me. And I also feel a lot of gratitude that my brother is still alive and that Lord willing, we will get to the point where I will be able to give him my kidney and he will have a long and beautiful and fruitful life. Okay, I just had my last bit of blood work. Um, so this is kind of it. If I pass this, I go to Texas um, for my third round of testing, like all day testing. Um, I'm really anxious. They had to redo some of the blood work. I think I told you that. And, um, and so this is kind of it. If I don't pass this, I don't know if I get kicked out or what. I hope not. Um, but I, I also feel really at peace, like knowing, okay, what's meant to be is what's meant to be. Um, I've been eating super healthy and doing all the things, taking, oh, I don't know, maybe ooh, a dozen different supplements and all of that. And just working really hard to pass this um, next round of blood work. So hopefully I do that. Um, I'll let you know. It should be a couple of days. We should get the results back. So um praying for all the best and most of all his will of what he wants to do um, in and through all of us. So, okay. Love you. Bye. Um, I talked to a nutritionist. We're doing more blood work. Uh, I dropped uh, my blood sugar like 15 points in like 10 days. So I just need to drop it like three more points and then I will head to San Antonio for full day testing then I'll come back here and they said that we won't be able to have surgery until sometime September um, just because they're booking out. So uh, no surgery for a while, um, but we're moving forward. Uh, Greg was here. Uh, he looked really tired. He's not driving. Joey was driving him. Um, and I just said, hold out, Greg. We're doing where everything that we can um, just to get to surgery. Um, he said September works better for him anyway because of his job and all of the things going on. So hopefully we're moving uh, closer to all of that. And um, yeah, I think that's all the updates. Hey, hi guys. Um, I just wanted to give you an update. Um, I just went bright and early to take more blood <laughs> and I'm becoming a professional like you, Greg, right? And um, I should know last time I heard within two days um, from Oscar. So I'm expecting to hear on Wednesday. I feel like um, either they will be like, eh, you're disqualified or let's move forward um, and go to Texas for our testing. And so hopefully it's the latter. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to do. I'm trying so hard, Greg, and I'm um, just trying to get everything balanced um, like you. It's just, um, you know, an exact science it feels like sometimes, but hopefully we'll, we'll get there and we'll be able to move forward and get the surgery underway. Um, I know you want that and I want that. And um, I think of you guys, I feel like we're just all on this journey together, and, but we love you guys and we will keep you posted as soon as we know more. Okay. Love you. Have a great day. Bye. Hi guys, uh, so I just got off the phone with Oscar in San Antonio um, from the Kidney Transplant Center. I got the results back for my blood test and I'm going to San Antonio. I passed, thank you Jesus. Um, we are looking at going next Friday, which of course will be the last of all the tests. And as long as I pass those, we are moving forward with a transplant. I'm just like, in shock, it feels like Christmas. I'm so um, overwhelmed um, and in awe that I passed and we are now moving forward. And so thank you, Jesus, he's so good. So I will keep you posted. I love you guys so, so much and we will talk to you soon, bye.
here we are, we're at the airport and um, we are getting our flight to, to Texas. Uh, we should be there later today, uh, but first we have to go through security uh, and we have to go through a dog check to make sure we're not drug dealers, which is hysterical. So all these people apparently are drug dealers, so we just luck, I guess. Okay, so we're stuck in the airport. Um, apparently the door on our airplane uh, for the bathroom isn't working or something, so they're fixing it. So not sure when it is, but hopefully we will get to fly out soon. Having fun. <laughs> so we'll let you know. Okay, bye. Hey guys, we uh, made it on the plane, so we're getting ready to take off here in a couple minutes, um, and we are on our way to San Antonio. Love okay, you. Again, I need we are in San Antonio. It is about 10,000 degrees. Uh, we made it to the Marriott, to our hotel, and we're excited to wake up and start all this testing. Um, it's warm and it is beautiful here. It's really flat and everybody's so, so, so nice. Uh, we've just absolutely loved it. So um, anyway, we are here and we are safe and we are looking forward to this adventure. Yeah. Okay, here we are um, at the Methodist um, Transplant Center. So we made it, it's eight o'clock in the morning and we're getting ready to go in and have a full day of testing. So here we go. All right. <laughs> Good morning. It is bright and early here in Seattle, Washington. Um, we got back from Texas and I don't think I've given an update and so I just want to do that really quick. Um, we, I think I passed all my tests, um, had to do blood work again just okay, to prove that my numbers two. are good. And then um, I thought we would be able to book the surgery or at least schedule it. And it turns out that um, even though I had had a colonoscopy within the last five years, uh, because the last time I went there were pre-cancerous polyps that they had to remove, um, they are making me go in for another colonoscopy. And so um, it was kind of unexpected and honestly, it kind of discouraged me because I'm like, okay, I'm doing what you say and I'm on this path. And then all of a sudden there's kind of this last minute roadblock. And so, um, that is what we're doing this morning. Um, we've been prepping all night and getting ready to go in uh, for this final colonoscopy. Hopefully this is the last thing um, in hopes for um, all my paperwork, all my tests and everything to go in before uh, like a board or a group of people to approve me officially um, and for us to schedule the surgery. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I just thought I'd keep you updated and let you know where we're at. All right. So I'm just going to try to do this video if I can hold it together um, before I get ready to call my brother Greg who um, I have been testing for maybe four or five months to donate a kidney to and I just got a call. They had a meeting today from uh, the transplant center and they were going to present my file of all my testing and my blood work and the results of me going to Texas and um, just everything that I've done up until this point to see if they would approve me to donate a kidney. And they just told me that I'm approved. <laughs> um, and honestly, I'm just so, so happy. It's been a long journey um, and I, I just wasn't sure. Um, I just wasn't sure. You just don't know, right? You go before the board and they look at everything and um, I'm just ecstatic. I'm going to call my brother now and then my husband and let them know we hope to schedule surgery in the next a day or two by Wednesday. Today is Monday um, and it is an awesome feeling to know that I get to give my kidney to help um, save another life and to help another life, my brother Greg. So 
just wanted to record this while it was fresh and raw and I literally just got off the phone with Texas so great news hey everyone um I just wanted to give you an update uh, my last update I believe was October wait September 17th and that was the day that I got approved um to donate my kidney um, I got the call from Texas and I got the great news that all my testing um, and my trip to Texas from Seattle area here um, came back positive and I was approved by the Methodist uh, Transplant Center in Texas to donate my kidney. And since uh, that day, I called my brother Greg and um, <clears throat> let him know. And um, today is October 7th, so it's been a few weeks. And we were hoping to schedule surgery the next day or within a few days after that. And it turns out what happened, I believe, um, as far as I know, is that uh, my brother um, was having some health problems, some um blood pressure issues, uh, creatine, and his numbers were off. And so uh, we anticipated scheduling surgery and um, hopefully even having it done at this time. And it looks like what happened, we got word that Texas wants my brother to uh, fly back down to Texas and to go through all of the full day of evaluation once again. Um, he did that about four months ago at the beginning of all of this process. Um, and, um, he passed all of, all of that testing back then before I flew to Texas and did the same testing. And for whatever reason, they want him back. And so he is getting ready to fly back, um, on the 18th. Um, so in about two weeks, um, of October, uh, he will fly back down to Texas and he needs to go through all of the testing. Um, so that is to check his heart, to check his kidney, um, to have a, a go through a social worker um, and um, a physical and just all of the testing that we do to get approved um, to uh, for him to be a recipient um, for the donor, uh, me, which is uh, my kidney. And so uh, once he goes through that testing, they also will need to go and approve his file and his test results um, with a board. So they will need to sit down with his file. And my understanding, he was approved. And so I don't know if it's because they're talking about the need to up his dialysis um, because um, he sounds like is getting infections um, or at least the um, dialysis is not um, doing completely what it needs to do, flushing out his system. And so um, we are, I'm, I'm not really sure about what's going on or why that happens. I've tried to do some research uh, to see if this is something normal or if it's just unique to our in particular situation. Um, but we are on hold. I'm on hold um, for surgery. We were hoping to have it before Christmas um, and to be done and home and healthy. That eight week uh, healing process that needs to take place. After the donation, we were hoping we would be back to be able to celebrate Christmas. Um, my Both of my um, daughters, our birthdays are December 1st and December 4th. And so um, I really did not want to be gone during their surgery. I have another daughter in January who has a birthday and then another one in February. And so uh, we're getting into kind of just a busy time. And so I will not know anymore, it sounds like, until... My brother goes down um, for that testing on October 18th. And so we're just on hold. We're waiting. I understand this is part of the donation process. And we will wait and see what comes of that. Good morning. It is like 6, not even quite 7 o'clock in the morning yet. And I realize I haven't shared an update um, so January 6th, we have scheduled our surgery. We are getting ready to go do a kidney transplant and um, it is December 20th and this is my final blood work. Uh, if we all pass, we will be able to fly to Texas and get our surgery. Um, it is bright and early. It's actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's snowing here. <clears throat> 
So I'm braving the elements uh, to get to the hospital that's closest to us to get my final round of blood work. Hopefully, uh, my brother Greg will get to meet us there and we will do the last of all of our blood work and our samples and um, again, check if we are a match again. We need to do that one more time before we go in for surgery. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks so much. Hey, it is January 3rd and um, it is the night before we get ready to fly out for Texas to go have our surgery. On the 5th, we will have pre-op and on Friday the 6th will be our actual transplant surgery date. Uh, we are so excited that the day is finally here. Um, we've had kind of some bumps along the way, but um, it has been a journey with doing a thousand times over. Uh, I feel such a peace to give uh, my kidney to my brother. Um, there's just such a deep peace. People keep asking, are you nervous? Are you scared? And I really don't. I feel, I just, it's like there's a knowing that this is what I was supposed to do and it was made to do really. And um, yeah, so it's been a busy day getting all of our kids ready. We have two kids that are going to respite care and our uh, four adopted daughters just getting um, everything lined up for them. So that is really the biggest, um, the hardest part of all of this, actually. So we will keep you posted and um, surgery is coming in a couple of days. Can't wait. Uh, we're doing okay. We're we're doing okay. Um, I think every day will get better. So that's the blessing of all of this. And the kidney is functioning at forty percent, uh, which is huge. I think that's Greg's because I guess he was three percent before he started this. So that's awesome, and it's supposed to go up even from there. So that's really great news. That's what we wanted. Um, I'm just trying to sleep really, and. Um, yeah, that's it. I love you and I miss you. I miss all of you guys. Um, okay, well, we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. We love hello. you. Hi. We're just calling to say hi. It is day four, I think. Um, and we're at the hotel and just healing and getting better. Um, we miss you guys a lot. I know you're having fun with Mariah and with all the big kids. And um, I just uh, can't wait to see you soon.